just got this high chair. What was like most important? Oh yeah, you were telling me what was most important. So Dakota says five months. He's gonna start solids in at six months. We were talking about what was the most important parts of a high chair. Me, I was like, I don't want the one that's like really cumbersome, and then I also want one that like is going to keep him in a good position. Cause like my biggest worry with him starting solids is choking him choking on those pieces. So it's really important for them to have their like their their feet in a good position and how they're positioned in the high chair well. I wanted it to look good. Classic Avery. I wanted it to be super sturdy. I don't know, like when I looked at the review or the video that I watched, they were talking about like adults can sit in this. I don't know if he needs it, one. And then two, these straps are like garbage. And then this, I'm not sure they made this for this. Like, I'm not sure this actually will work. Um, what do you, mean? you see what I'm saying? So look. It goes through here, man. Here's, here's the issue, okay? Here's what I'm talking about. Is this, thread right here serves no purpose for what's going on over here. You see what I'm saying? Like, there's no way to get this. Yeah, this is like in the back of this. Like, this is, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not right. Like, <laughs> For something so simple, I think it's a dumb setup. How to install trip trap cushion with harness. Hello everyone. My wife recently bought a Stoke trip trap sweetheart complete high tier. And uh, I was assembling it. It took me quite a while. I was struggling putting the coop. It's a dumb design. They played back on it. some effort to take the uh, harness or the... I was expecting this to be super simple. Well, because it looks like a simple product, too. It, it, it's just like there's some things that are like, wait, what? This is a couple of days later. I actually forgot to uh, record the answer to this. All right. The problem is when you are putting this mesh part on, there's nowhere to put the straps through this because of this plastic piece. And then there's another plastic piece that's behind here. And nowhere in the di directions that I see, that there's an actual answer to where or how you can put the straps on. The key is these straps actually come off on the back. So you have to take the straps off first and then you can thread it through the back of this and then you'll put that back on and then you can set your baby in there. The other thing that is, that I don't like about the seat or just putting it together, the thing that I don't like about putting it together is this seat, nowhere in the directions does it tell you how to actually Put the seat on and when i say that here's what i mean this part comes off of the seat it connects to the back of this what you want to do is tabby also wants us to provide the amazon link we'll provide the amazon link to the one that we got there's this base three parts there's this base this part is separate and then you have the back piece. This base connects to the back piece, but it also connects to the bottom piece. And the mistake we did, and I think most people will do, is putting the back on and then putting the chair piece on and then trying to put this on. The issue is when you do that, 
you tighten the sides of these down so you can't move it anymore. But when you put the bottom part of this on, it might not reach the back of this. So what you wanna do is, before you put this in and lock it in, put the belt part on the base so that you can uh, scoot it in and you can scoot it to the exact part where it will clip on to the back of the chair. I just think there should be like a notch or some directions that clearly show you how far this needs to go in. Overall, we literally love the high chair. Those, just putting it together, I think they need to include some better instructions. Super simple fixes. Great high chair, terrible directions. Yeah. <laughs>